This is TJ with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We are at 914 Cleveland Avenue doing a whole house colonoscopy on the roof. Got the neighbor's dogs barking at me. So they're all worked up. Everybody loves the barking dog. Should have brought him some milk bones. Currently 107 feet out. We are at the city tap. Clay sewer line. We're going to start backing up here. There it is. Um, we have a slight separation right there at the tap. Got a little bit of debris catching right there on the edge. Then as we back up right here, see another slight separation right there. Um, honestly, clay sewer line, we expect to see those separations. We expect to see some roots. Going kind of slow right here. We do have another separation right here. It looks as though maybe they've got a rubber fitting around this one and they didn't have the right fitting so they just stuffed the pipe up in because you can kind of see the hub of that clay pipe towards the top but I'm not seeing any root penetrations so it's not a major concern. The water is just water falling right off of this joint going down. Backing up, clay sewer line still. Everything appears to be draining into the lower third of the pipe <coughs> which is really good. Here's another one of those where we've kind of water falling right over, slight separation. Looks like they just needed to change an angle and didn't have a feeling for it, so they just altered the pipe a little bit. Another slight separation. Once again, we're used to seeing those. Slight separation towards the top there. Once again, we're, we're water falling right over that, moving forward. Few roots right here on the top left side coming in on that joint. Nothing major. A few more or another separation right here. We also have a slight belly right here. Looks like we got some back slope in this piece of pipe. Water's about an inch deep. We're just going over the top of the camera right here. really hard to say what's going on in this belly because we can't see anything but there it is I'm guessing that we have a piece of pipe that is got some back slope on it because of that I'm going to recommend treatment with some bio one bio one is a natural enzyme that'll help eat away and deteriorate any debris that may be catching in that area just works for the health and the safety of the or the health of the sewer coming back we've got a few more roots there on the right side starting to catch some debris because of those roots I'm going to recommend that we do a, a, a sewer clean we'll just buzz the machine down clean up anything that we got a nice clean sewer to start with a little bit of sludge and some roots right here on the left side we'll get those all taken care of early that way there's no problems later I am also going to recommend that we treat this sewer with some root X root X is a foaming root killer that will kill all these roots that we're seeing top and bottom fills that pipe up completely. Rudex is a service that we recommend annually and our goal is to get ahead of those roots so that we're treating them with the Rudex and not having to clean them with the machine. Save you a little money, save us a little time. Right there we do have a pretty good ball of roots that was all underwater when I went down and then I pushed through it. A few more roots right here. Once again it's a clay sewer. We expect separations. We expect roots. Here we transition to the cast iron that's under the house. The cast iron is, is pretty rough in this one. We've got some shelves, we've got some divots, we've got some bulges and some holes. I'm going to recommend that we do a descale of this cast iron. That's what's causing this is, is mineral buildup that hangs on to the cast iron pipe. Um, we send a chain knocker down with some carbide teeth, buzzes around, knocks the high spots off, cleans that pipe up, makes it to where it runs and drains better. Cruising on back. Everything else looks to be pretty boring here. We got a little bit of debris there. And then we turn. And we're coming up the vent that we went down up here on the roof. Got water dripping off the camera lens, so it makes it really hard to see what we're doing here. A 
Here's the clean out that we went down up here on the roof. There's Dom. Give us a wave, Dom. He's the star of all my dirty movies. And here's the neighborhood. So we're going to recommend that sewer clean. Treat me with some Rudex a little bit of Bio 1. Everything else looks to be in. We're going to recommend a descale of that cast iron. This has been a Borage Dirty Movie production. Thank you.